because of the the way emancipation came in Brazil, slaves uh, had a more and more access to uh, to to court to uh, to uh, um, file petitions for freedom, and in this they were helped by lawyers or people who are not lawyers but but could represent them uh, in in these legal suits. One important example, one of the most important examples, is uh, an abolitionist called Luis Gama. Luis Gama was himself a former slave. He was the, the son of a, an African woman and a, a Portuguese merchant. But he was, the African woman was freed when he was born. So he was born free. But then he is an example among many others of someone who was then sold as a slave despite being freed to the southeast to work in coffee plantations. The legend goes that he was sold by his own father, the Portuguese merchant who owned him. And then he went to Sao Paulo and he learned how to read and write there, became freed there. And, and, um, and then he started working, representing slaves in court, in petitions for freedom to, to try to liberate them, to free them. And he represented hundreds of slaves. There are hundreds of records in Brazilian archives in which he acted as a, a defender of, a, of slaves in these legal suits. And there are many others, but I, I like this one uh, because I think he's uh, probably the most important one, the most incredible trajectory.